everybody, this is... <laughs> Why am I looking at the microphone? Hi, <laughs> everybody. <laughs> Woo! Hi, everybody. This is Charlotte, your hopelessly recovering shopaholic in today's Bangkok haul. So I recently went to Bangkok, Thailand with my girl group, The Singing Sensations, to represent our country in the entertainment category of this polo tournament that happens every year. When I found out we were chosen to perform, all I could think of was shopping. All I could think of was how to spend my talent fee. I mean, it's the land of the street markets. So anyway, work was the furthest thing from my mind. Don't tell the client. And as if the universe wanted to punish me because of this mentality, I was only given one and a half hours to shop. <gasps> Kill me now! One and a half hours to shop in Bangkok. I felt like I was in the amazing race or actually more like survivor. I know it was a work trip so an hour and a half of shopping is still a privilege. So here are the things that I panic bought. Starting off with the top that I am wearing right now. This old rose crop top. As per usual with any of the crop tops, I wear it with high-waisted pants. This time is with black pants that I bought from CM Reap. First of all, I love knitwear because knitwear hugs the body in a certain way that no other material can. Knitwear material follows the contour of your body shape. Whether your body shape is that of a Coca-Cola bottle or a watermelon. So just for reference, one thigh bat is 1.66 pesos according to the foreign currency app. So it's almost one is to two. So it's almost double. I love this top because there are so many peekaboos. Mm, mm, and mm. I love the little flashes of flesh. Flashes of flesh. That should be my clothing brand. I bought this for 160 baht or 267 pesos. Knitwear will make you appear sexier than you really are. I mean, the only knitwear that we can actually wear here in the Philippines are the sexy knitwears. Otherwise, you'll have heat stroke. I love this top because it has a halter neckline and it is super flattering to broad-shouldered people like me. Halter necklines have a way of not making me look like a football player unlike tube tops. I suppose because it cuts through the broadness instead of just completely revealing it like a tube top. So there you go, the first item in this haul, this old rose knitted crop top with peekaboos and guitar chords details. You say Dun, dun, dun. I only hear what I want to. Dun, 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 These next items are such a predictable purchase. All of you who know me, surprise! Cherry tops. Now, to all of you who are new to my channel, let me just admit to you that I am a cherry print addict ever since I was a teenager. Like maybe like four years ago. I mean, it's even my Instagram handle, Miss Cherry Bombshell. I feel like the cherries represent me perfectly. They are very sweet looking and yet it has a naughty undertone to it. So I bought them each for 160 baht which translates to 267 pesos just like this old rose knitwear. Now I plan to wear this white one with jeggings since it has the blue and white stripes or with black leggings or with denim shorts to complement the blue stripes. And I can even unbutton the lower half and tie the two sides around my belly for a summer look. I like wearing cherries even more than I like wearing unicorns because unicorns are so tricky to wear. I mean, am I like five years old? Uh, yes. This black one I am planning to wear with black leggings and bright colorful shoes to break the all black tone of it. So there you go, these two long sleeve tops which make me completely happy just by looking at them. Since we are on the topic of cherries, let me show you this next cherry purchase which is sadly a fail. This is this white eyelet embroidered cherry top. No, this is not for my knees. This is actually really a crop top. It's meant to be a crop top. And the fail is that it doesn't close comfortably in the chest area. As with any street markets, they don't allow you to fit them, especially if they are white. So I bought this one for 150 baht. And 150 baht is 250 pesos. So I am really sad that it did not work out for me. But I will try to sew some snaps in between the buttons and let's see if that would work. I want you to remember me every time you see cherry prints and I want you to message me every time you see any cherry merchandise anywhere and I will go and buy it. You'll be my lookout. You'll be my cherry spies. So there you go. We are done with the tops. We are moving on to other things. And this is 
is this satiny silky navy blue play suit. So I bought this play suit for 250 baht, which is 417 pesos. And I love it for the silky satiny feel of this material. It feels so luxurious and it will look so nice on stage when I wear it during my shows. And it is just screaming to be accessorized with huge earrings or huge statement necklaces. And I feel like aside from the stage, I can wear this out on a date with Mr. F because it is plunging and he likes that that dirty dog. So it is a play suit which means that it is actually shorts instead of a dress. And I like the comfort level of skirts or shorts because then you don't have to be so demure with your leg movements. Now speaking of movements, this next purchase has so much movement. Shake, body, body, dancer. Shake, body, body, dancer. Shake, body, body, dancer in the night. Calma, calma. Excited ka na naman, Charlotte. This next purchase is actually a costume for the singing sensation. So Jasmine was able to find in our one and a half hour allocation costumes for us. And this is 450 baht which translates to 751 pesos. And I've seen this being sold here in the Philippines for about 1,000 pesos in Market Market. And it couldn't be more perfect for stage. The color is loud, the tassels will complement our moves, and the sequins will catch the stage lights and make us very, very blinding. I find that it is very difficult to find show-worthy clothes here in the Philippines unless you have it custom-made. <sighs> And finding this and one size that fits all three of our different body shapes is actually short of a miracle. And I can also wear this on a Gatsby themed party or event or on a 1920s, 30s, is it 30s or 40s? Yeah, you know the era that I mean. Actually, if I'm already a senior citizen, it's not very long now. Actually, if I'm already a senior citizen, I would totally wear a dress like this for ballroom dancing. During dance nights, Wednesdays at Resorts World Manila, Sundays at Resorts World Manila. The next item I bought is this black high-waisted A-line skirt. The material is a stiff one. It's like foamy or padded. And I know I'm gonna get lots of uses from this because of my crop tops. So I plan to wear this for my shows and you can never go wrong with basic black skirts. A basic black skirt is a wardrobe staple. So I got this for 250 baht which converts to 417 pesos which is not entirely cheap but I swear I've seen this being sold for more in the malls. The next one is this ball gown style pink shantung silk long skirt. So you're probably wondering, hello, do you have a prom to go to? This was probably the hardest decision I ever had to make in that short time span because this was 500 baht, which is 834 pesos. And you know me, I get a heart attack with prices at over 500 pesos. But anyway, I plan to use this for events where I host and or sing. And I just feel like it is different and more youthful than the other gowns that I already have. I'm planning to wear this with my Britney Spears inspired nude stockings stop with Swarovski crystals or wear this with a white t-shirt for a quirky take on formal attire or if somebody asks me to go to the prom I'll wear this and maybe this time I'll win prom princess no at my age it's prom queen these next ones are black pants with slits in the middle Ooh, and you can even unbutton it to the desired height of the slit knowing me I will leave no buttons buttoned I plan to wear this on my shows because I normally wear dresses so I want to throw them off by wearing pants once in a while and especially if it's with these pants with so much sexiness. I bought this for 250 baht. I plan on wearing this for either shows or events or going out with my girlfriends. Black pants are so slimming and the slits will make me look like I have long legs. These next pants are super high-waisted and it has these tight details to cinch it in the waist and it actually flares! Can we all please start a movement to bring back flares already? The last time was still in the 90s. It is overdue to have its comeback. I have always felt like I was way taller and sexier with flared pants more than skinny jeans. I am counting the days until the skinny jeans trend dies. So this is a size medium which I miscalculated my body. I should have gotten a large. So I will still check what my seamstress can do about this. So anyway, I'm planning to wear this with crop tops. And again, for shows or for events. So those were all the clothes that I bought. And I also bought this hair accessory, this wig. I recently changed my hair color 
color last January into Ash Blonde from Golden Blonde. So I had to buy an Ash Blonde wig as well to supplement my normal hair. And this was the one I was wearing from my previous video, my Kiapo haul. And one of you noticed that my hair was looking nice and it was actually a wig. It was actually this. So I bought this for 500 baht which converts to 835 pesos. And the brand is also Satura which they sell in SM Department Store. But in SM Department Store, it costs around 1,000 pesos. The good thing about this wig is that it has dual style. So this one is the straight style, but when you flip it over, pack, there is the curly style. The final item in this Bangkok haul is this Bumebaim Mask Natural Soap. No idea how to pronounce it. Bumebaim, Bumebime. Bium Bime. So my fellow singer was hoarding this as pasalubong back home. Apparently, some people asked her to deliberately buy it for them. And so I got super curious. Apparently, it makes you super white instantly. Now, I am very skeptical about all of these instant things. Instant food, instant whitening, instant anti-aging. I feel like any process that is quite effective takes time. Like the reason why I was able to lighten my skin color is because I've been using my fruit acid soap since 2007. 11 years consistently without fail. And that's why it took effect. But let's put this to the test. I was very curious. I will update you if this actually works. So I bought this for 90 baht, which is 150 pesos, which is exactly the same amount as my fruit acid soap. So I was really, really curious. So anyway, I am excited to try this and let's see if it can replace my first love, my fruit acid soap. There you go everybody, another haul with Mrs. F. I hope you enjoyed going through all of my purchases and I hope that I'm able to come back to Bangkok for round two. Hopefully this will be my last haul for the month. Uh-uh, I have my US haul. Thank you so much for all of your help in my Kiapo haul. I highly appreciate it. And I will see you on my next shopping relapse, which is always very soon. Bye! Airplanes! I'm leaving on an airplane I don't know what I actually know when you'll be back again So knitwear material Material On a scale of 1 to 10 The airplane is a 0 So I both Both So I both them each for <laughs> I'm even not gonna address this airplane anymore. I'm not gonna address the issue. Now, I'm very skeptical about all of these in instant, instant. Ah. Ah. This was 500, 500, 